time for another short horror game. This is an indie game. It's called Missing Hitchhiker. Or sorry, just Missing Hiker. My mistake. And I learned about this one from Don Monkey. So go give him a subscription because he finds some amazing indie horror games. I highly recommend you check out his channel. But without further ado, let's dive into this. December 11th, 1994. Press any key. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come yes home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said... Don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Ooh. Liking that music. Uh, why am I stopping? Oh, I have to push forward. I'm driving. All right. Well, I'm going to drive left-hand side. Sure, I won't hit any cars this way. We can do this. I'm all over the road. Let's hit a tree. Oh, how far off the road do you think I can go? Get a, it's off road. I mean, he was hitchhiking, right? He's going to be out here somewhere. We can find him. Come on. Oh, okay. Invisible walled. I figured it was bound to happen, but I had to check, you know. What is life without a little exploration? Uh oh, can I find the road again? <laughs> oh, where's the road? There we go. All right, we'll drive like a normal person, just swerving off the edge every now and again, looking for deer. Yeah, and I gotta sweep the headlights, right? Because maybe my brother's over there. Maybe he's over there. If the police aren't gonna search for him. The least I can do is look with my headlights. Wait, what do we got here? What's this say? What? I couldn't quite read it. It said, "Oh no." What does that say? Harrow Road, maybe? Can't zoom in. Har Harrow Road. And crossing deer. First, I thought that was a kangaroo's. Man, my car's got that sweet purr. Uh, is it just me or is my fuel gauge not working? It certainly seems like it's not working. But, you know, as long as we don't run out of gas, we should be fine. Yeah. Turns. Those are suggestions. I'm going straight through. Ha ha ha! I don't need to stay on your stinky road. Look at that. Shortcut. Oh, what happens if we run into the car? Oh. <laughs> you can actually crash. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause till I get back there. All right, we're going around this curve. This is where I took the shortcut last time, but this time we're going to drive like a nice, good driver. I didn't do any moving violations. I kept it in the speed limit. We're all good. All right, I see lights up ahead. What do we got here? We got a gas station. Okay. Should we stop, get some munchies? I should park at this gas station and ask if they saw my brother. All right. Oh, let's, we'll leave him park in a really nice spot. Look at this. Totally parking legit. All right. Let's get on out. Oh, it's dark. Oh, F for flashlight. Wow, I came prepared. Look at that. And look at my sweet ride. Oh yeah, everybody's pretty envious. Nice, okay. Nice trash cans, can I talk to this dude? Hey, you seen any hitchhikers? Where are you? He's not in there. Okay, I guess he's inside the store already. Soft water, juice, drinks, hey! You see my brother? I'm searching for my brother, he went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. Wow, jerk. Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this. Especially in this area. What do you mean? Hey, look, man. I work pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. Not the mood to talk with people. I don't know. Oh, I don't I talk with people. I don't know. <laughs> I understand. Sorry for bothering you. I'm not sorry. Bother him some more. Get all up in his business. Take his beers from his cart. I'm going to steal his food. Come on. Take his stuff. Oh... Boo. All right, fine. How about you? The customer's always right, right? You want to be nice to me? What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? Oh, hey, that's still me. <laughs> I can read. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? Hmm. How does your brother look like? Do you speak English? He has brown hair and is pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. Let me think for a second. 
Mm, yes, I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things, some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him. Have you told the police already? Yeah, in fact I did, but they said that they don't have resources for searching right now. They said that they only started searching if a person's missing for more than 48 hours. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. That's ominous. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. Oh, a handful over a decade. That's not crazy. People talk a lot. I heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. Alright. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in the area. As we all know, dangerous wildlife avoid paths. <laughs> Thanks, I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. Uh, speaking of, I would like some bear mace. Uh, or hot sauce at least. There we go. I'd like the hot sauce. Nope. Won't let me have any. Uh, what do you got back here? I mean, you were very helpful, so I, I do feel bad bothering you, but I kind of want to loot. You know, it's just the gamer in me. I've been taught to loot everything. Hey, I thought you just wanted to go home, huh? And yet here you still are. Alright, dude, I'm tall. Look, I'm almost hitting my head on this. I guess we're all pretty tall. He's tall. It's a tall bunch. Must be something in the water. Alright, a road behind the gas station. Where's he talking about? Over there? Oh, up there. Let's take the car, huh? I'm not walking. I've got technology. Come on, that's off-road. Oh, come on. Alright. Looks like I don't have technology. So I am walking. Hopefully my battery's got some good, uh, flashlights in it. Er, <laughs> wow, I speak English so good. Hopefully my flashlight has some good batteries in it. This concludes Lesson 1 of English with Cynic Placebo. Man, you'd think with how much I talk, I'd learn to do it correctly, but, uh, I don't speak so good. I just talk the way I want to talk. I mean, in my defense, I am, like, rural, born and bred, so... You can't expect too much from me. Alright. This is quite the path. Do I have a better sprint? Oh, I am sprinting. Dang. That's as fast as I can go. Somebody needs to work on their cardio. Oh, I heard something over there. Ooh, it's getting ominous. What do we have? My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should take a closer look. Your, his tent? Well, I mean, if he's camping, did he really go missing? Whoa! Gosh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who are you? You scared the crap out of me. I scared you. I almost had a heart attack myself. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. I'm not. I just searched for my brother. He was hiking this area. Have you seen him? Nope, I haven't seen him. Wait. You don't even know how he looks like. Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in the woods and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. <laughs> Do you? Okay, wow. You're planning to go deeper in the forest? Yes, I'll search around this area. I'll hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something. But last night, I had my tent a bit up north. I mean, the voice I gave you, I think you're a tweaker, not a stoner. But, you know. Uh, distinctions in kind. And I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. A what? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? I'm talking about a piece, you know, something for protection. You mean a gun? No, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous to go deeper into the forest at night. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also, one last thing. Don't creep up on a tent in the woods at night, ever again. Especially since I carry. <laughs> I almost would have shot you. <laughs> well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. Yeah, isn't it such a pain when you gotta bury a body because you shot before you looked? Dude, you got a... Interesting face there. Alright. Okay. So he says it's cryptids. Can I get like a club or something? I mean, call me crazy, but if you don't have a gun, at least you can, you know, yank off a tree branch and... Use it as a quote-unquote walking stick until you gotta beat somebody with it. And then you beat away. Just keep beating till there's nothing left. Like that night. Back in 89. 
<laughs> in 89. I would have been a child beating someone to death. That didn't really work out. I should have said like 99 or something at least. At least then I was a teenager. All right. Here we go. This snow effect is pretty cool. For a little budget indie game. And the guy jumping out of the tent certainly freaked me out. They got me. Now I'm waiting for a cryptid. Oh, Bigfoot. Where are you? Shall I do your mating call? Let's see, what's the mating call of the Bigfoot? Well, we're going to go with... Uh, uh, let's see. What a Bigfoot sound like. We're going to go with... Uh, hey, you guys! He had pretty big feet, right? He saw Goonies. All right. I'm getting chatty because I'm getting nervous. Deeper we go. Man, I am really a long way from my car. At a minimum, you should have a knife. It's getting cold. I should set up my tent on the left side of the road. Your tent? Okay, I guess I came more prepared than I thought, except for I don't have, like, basic knives and stuff. My fingers are pretty much numb. It's hard to build the tent. Well, you probably shouldn't be camping out here. You should go back in your car where there's a heater at the gas station. E to enter the tent. Okay. All right. It's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. What's he going to hear? What's he gonna hear? I know it's coming. I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if it was real or imagined. What is the problem with waking up? You don't know if it was part of your dream or part of waking. I need to check. Could be my brother screaming for help. Alright. Where'd you hear it from, though? Was that this way? I feel like I'm going to get lost, but go towards the light. That's the video game rule, right? Going to get lost in the woods. Dude, forget about a cryptid. This looks like Slenderman's woods. Where is he? Is someone going to creep up on me? Man, I'm so slow. Just pick up your feet, dude. I mean, I guess it is the middle of the night. I am freezing. <laughs> so much so that I was willing to set up a tent because I thought I was going to die. Rather than search for my brother who could be freezing and dying. Oh, no, no. Don't you do it. Uh, if I brought a tent, I better brought spare batteries. Okay, we got tires. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, my brother's backpack. Backpack is completely empty. Nothing in here. Why did did I stick my whole head inside the backpack? That was weird. All right. Apparently that's how I open backpacks. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Don't judge. You can stick your whole head inside the backpack. Uh, hello. I meant to knock, but uh, I just kind of walked straight in. E to inspect. What the heck? Someone made a picture of my tent and my car. Hmm. And, uh, what's on this plate right here? Hopefully that's beef. Or venison. Okay. Ooh. I need to open this. Bottle of... Come on. Can't have a treasure chest and not let me open it. Alright. Can I... Ooh. That's... That's a bad room. I don't want to go in that room. Oh, crap. Can I grab that knife? Grab that knife. Come on. Take the knife. <laughs> Who is that mustachioed gent? Your body was never found. Alright, looks like I gotta try again, and this time do something smarter. I'm guessing not go in the house. I'll pause till I get... Alright, we're pulling up on the gas station here, but I had a thought. What if we don't stop? What if we just say, nope, screw this, we're out of here. My brother's not up there, clearly. We're just going to race on by. Go somewhere else. 
No. I don't want to stop. No, don't stop. This is not the right place. This is not the brother you're looking for. Keep going. You can do it. Keep on going. Yeah. Come on. Oh, my car's going so slow. Can I get out of here? Come on. Oh, invisible walled. Dang it. All right, well, I'll pause once I get up to the cabin there. All right, I'm hearing the screams, but this time I'm staying up on the road. They woke me up from my tent. And I think we're going to go lights out. Because last time, they were able to get the jump on me, right? So what if this time I get the jump on them? I mean, I don't have a weapon, but I do have a flashlight. I could try to clock them in the head, huh? Let's see. So there were two of them. There was one standing far outside the gate, and there was one that was just right outside the door. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. So we're getting close enough we can see the light here. So let me turn off my light. We're going to sneak through the woods. Here we go. Stealth mode. Engage. Alright. We're going to check out the perimeter. I see the backpack. Oh, we... We're looking for the dudes. It's not up there, is he? Okay. Just checking. I don't think I should go this way. Oh, man. But I gotta find the dudes. Where are they? Alright, well. I guess we're close enough to the light that I'm giving myself away anyway, huh? Oh, I don't want to go in there. There's gotta be another way. Maybe we'll just look in the backpack. Completely empty. Alright. And now, maybe that'll trigger the dudes coming. Here, we'll open the door. But we're not going to go inside. Well, let's look around the back real quick. Can I just peek in the window? Alright, let's open the door. But then, we're going to make a break for it. Where you at, you punks? Oh, I should search the house before leaving? Is this a forced end? Is there no secret ending? Alright, we're going to try to close the door. Let's close it. Let's get a knife. Come on. Give me a knife. Okay. Oh. Can I start the generator? Doesn't look like it. I want this knife. Take this knife! Have you no survival skills, man? Oh, no. Can we see him through the door? If I turn out my lights, can we see him? Let's go slow. See if they'll see me. What? Where'd they go? Oh, come on. You're kidding me. All right. Let's close the door again. Looks like I have to go in here. I have to inspect the photos. Oh, okay. Now, can we turn out the light and peek? He's out there. But let's get the jump on him. Let's... No! No dice! Alright. Well, if you think there's a secret ending, go ahead and try it out, because my body is never going to be found. But if not, I've been Cynical Placebo. Thank you so much for joining me today in this one. I had a fun time with this one, and... Go thank Don Monkey by giving him a subscribe. He's the one that told me about this game, and it was a lot of fun, a lot of jump scares. And it's short and free, which is always a bonus. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Go subscribe to Don Monkey. Cheers.